Hello and welcome to this short video with me, Alex Aprigliano. In this video we're going to be looking at the use of zebra stripes. Zebra stripes allow us to see small changes in a surface that may be hard to see with a standard display. Zebra stripes simulate the reflection of long strips of light on a very shiny surface. With zebra stripes you can easily see wrinkles or defects in a surface and you can verify that two adjacent faces are in contact are tangent or have continuous curvature. So in order to do this we're going to take a look at a simplified part. Okay so we just have a block uh, currently with the chamfer on and on the evaluate toolbar we're going to turn on zebra stripes. Now as you can see when we turn that on it maps zebra stripes around the faces of our model and within the property manager we can do various things with those stripes such as change the amount of stripes, change the width, increase or decrease the stripe accuracy, we can change the colors of the stripes and we can toggle between horizontal stripes and vertical stripes. If we hit the green tick those stripes will remain on until we again toggle them off like so. So currently with our chamfer the boundary condition between the chamfered face and its adjacent faces would be contact. And I know this because the zebra stripes aren't lining up with each other on those faces. If we replace the chamfer with a fillet, you can see that the zebra stripes now line up with each other, but there is an abrupt change in direction. This indicates that the faces are tangent with each other. If we edit that fillet and change it to curvature continuous, here we can see that the zebra stripes run smoothly across the boundary, indicating that the boundary type is curvature continuous. Thank you for watching.